Welcome to the study of book of Genesis. So we are doing the study from chapter 6. God does not surrender his plan. God is almighty God, sovereign God. He has plan and purpose and his purpose can never be defeated. So that's what we see in the life of Noah. So there were three things that was obstructing or frustrating the plan of God. First is weakness of his people. Sometimes God's chosen people do not live according to standards that God has set. So they many times fall short of the expected standards. For example, David committed adultery or Abraham did not obey God by having relationship with Hagar and having a son Ismail. So in spite of that, in spite of the weakness of his people, God continued to patiently work out his plan. So in Noah's time also, so Noah was not perfect. The Bible says he was righteous. He was righteous among all the people who lived at that time. That means he was relatively better and his intention and his motivation was better than other people. The second thing is God's plan will not be defeated by wickedness of the world. So that's what happened in Noah's time. So Noah's time there was violence, there was corruption, there was sexual perversion. So all kinds of wickedness that is not expected of human beings. Human beings did not live according to God's expectation. So the wickedness of world cannot defeat God's plan. The third thing is, will the attack of Satan? Satan always attacks God's plan. So he doesn't want God to fulfill his plan of salvation for humanity. So he will attack. So he will send his demons. He will send his evil spirit. He will inspire human beings to become wicked. So God did not surrender his plan. What he did is he raised up Noah and he gave a creative idea of making an ark and he protected a family and the animals and birds so that he can restart the world. So God did not surrender his plan. Instead, he re tweeted or he repurposed his plan. So what he did is, it is amazing that, so through Noah, God set out a new creation and continued his ultimate plan for humanity, that is redemption of every human being. May God bless you.